Good morning, class. In the previous class, we have discussed about the different kinds of maps and how we can read that maps, right? By using the symbols and all, and by different symbols, you can and also we can look at the heights of the maps on by using the counter lines, right? I think you remember all that. Counter lines is nothing but this the lines which are joining with the same height is nothing but we call it as a counter lines, right? Do you remember all that? So today we are going to discuss about the how the counter lines can be calculated or how the heights will be calculated. Keep it remember, all the heights will be calculated at the from or it will start from the sea level. Okay. Your class, your reading of the lesson is reading maps of different kinds. So all the heights are calculated from the sea level. Okay. So the sea level will be always zero. So from this zero level, the heights will be calculated. So from that sea level, they'll be starting from the or they'll be calculating the heights, whether it is a 50 or 70 or whatever, maybe 100, 200, 2000, whatever it may be, all the keep it remember, all the heights will be calculated at from all the all the heights will be calculated from the sea level but you may get the doubt that how the sea level will be calculated right yes how the sea level will be calculated we have the answer it's little bit difficult because why you got that question is the sea levels if you see the tides of the level like if you see the sea level or the sea or if you go to the sea or beaches and all the tides will be always like up and down right it will be going up and down up and down right so it's not easy to calculate so what the scientists have done is like um, they calculated it or they made many research and all and whatever the ups and downs it is coming for example what are the tides and the waves which are coming so that up and down they're calculating the average thing okay or they they are taking for average measure Okay. And that average measure is nothing but we call it as a mean sea level. What do we call it as? Mean sea level. Okay. Whatever the ups and downs which are coming or whatever the tides and waves which are there. So at that tides and waves, they will take an average or the, or the scientists what they have done is they, take, they took the average over there. And that average is nothing but we call it as a mean sea level or, or in short we call it as M. S L okay mean sea level so that mean sea level will help us to calculate all the heights so that mean sea level will uh, like help us to take all the heights from there so that means whatever the height you want to calculate for example now we want to calculate a building or the height of the building which is like 2000 meters so from the where you will start from zero that means mean sea level from mean sea level you will start and that from there you will be taking the height of that okay? and that height will be announced as a average height of the building okay? and from where the mean sea level will be starting in our state the mean sea level like sorry in our country the mean sea level starts from the Chennai okay? from the state Chennai as it is at a very low part or where it, it is very the southern part of the India so all main sea levels or all the sea levels or the all the heights of the buildings or whatever the mountains everything whatever is there so that will be calculated from the state of Chennai because there the mean sea level will be starting okay so now we got the point what is meant by mean sea level it's nothing but the starting point of the heights where we calculate or a starting point of the sea level or sea which from where the heights will be calculated okay that means the, at the mean sea level the uh, the thing will be or the number will be zero from zero they will be starting from the, the they will be calculating the heights of the buildings or mountains or whatever it may be okay 
so in that way the heights will be calculated and how can we show, uh, how we can show the heights on the maps that can be used by using or that can be shown by using the counter lines that yesterday in the class we have discussed that okay so in this way this reading of the maps can be done by using the counter lines by using the average sea levels and all or mean sea levels and all and different symbols in that way we can read the different kinds of map we have a different kinds of map that also we discussed we have a physical map thematic map and many other maps we have so all that maps can be read through the different kinds of things which are different features which can be shown on the map so in that way we can according to our lesson we can read the maps whatever map it may be different kinds of maps can be read through the symbols and all so in that way we can read the maps so why we are using this maps or why we use it, why we are using the counter lines or why we want to read the maps and all because the uses of the map are in a various kinds or the map can be used in a different kinds okay for example like if you want to construct any dam okay then you have to calculate or you have to see the mean sea level and all you have to calculate the water level and all from where it starts and how much part should be constructed into the dam uh, sorry into the water and how much part should be from apart from that or like how much part should be or out of the water so that everything should be calculated so how you know that the height of that and all by using this mean sea level or by using the maps right so all this can be done or if you want to calculate the or elevation of the mountain or height of the mountain then from where you start by using the mean sea level you can start from there and you can calculate the height of the mountain okay so or you, when you want to climb something or when you want to construct anything when you want to have any like uh, buildings and all like any want to construct any building everything everything for that everything you want to calculate the you have to go with the mean sea level that you have to calculate and then you have to start the construction part and all so that's why this maps are very useful and this mean sea level is also very useful okay and coming to the counter lines the counter lines if it is steep like if it is very like in a straight way like when you are climbing the mountain so some, some i think you have seen your uh, some Uh, TVs and all, or in some videos and all, some people will be climbing the mountains like straight. It will be, and they'll be climbing the mountains, right? So that to indicate that uh, type of uh, mountains and all, then the height of that mountain will. If that mountains are like that, then the counter circles or the counter lines will be little bit near to that. Okay, like this. Very, it will be very near. If it is a steep, it is called as steep. Okay, steep means if it is very straight. Okay, like mountain. If it is very straight, if you want to climb like straightly, then the counter lines will be very nearly. Okay, if the landscape of the or the land is little bit slopy, like this. If it is a very slant way, then the counter lines will be indicated very far. If that means to on the map, if the counter lines so on the map if the counter lines are little bit near then what you can call it as the land is you can say that or you can read that as a, the land is very steep okay and if the counter lines are little bit far okay the distance between each counter line is very far then you can say that the land is very slopy okay so in that way you can by using this counter lines by using this mean sea levels and all you can read the different kinds of maps so what is the use of the map the last part of this lesson is that only the what is the use of the map the maps can be used for different ways to construct dams schools or you want to buy any land everything for everything you want to travel from one place to the other to know the heights how many forests are there what is the temperature for different kinds or for different to know about different features the map can be used okay so this is about the first lesson reading maps of different kinds we have a different kinds of map i'll summarize once again we have a different kinds of maps like physical map thematic map population map different kinds of maps we have by using the symbols and different kinds of symbols we we can read the 
map and the symbols which are used all through the world or the common use symbols which are uh, used all through the world that is called as a convectional symbols okay and that convectional symbols by using that convectional symbols you can read the map and next one by using the counter lines we can measure the heights of the maps or you can show the heights on the maps okay if the counter lines are little bit near or the counter circles are near to by that the distance between the counter lines each counter line is very near or very less then it is called as a steep line if the counter lines is the distance between each counter line is like a uh, little bit far or it is between or distance is more then it is a slopey area okay and also we discussed about how the heights will be calculated by using a mean sea level okay clear so by this we can read a different kinds of maths okay thank you